once understanding that in order to not only function well and uh, fulfill our dreams and visions for this life, but in order to thrive, in order to discover our purpose and meaning, in order to become the great, wonderful women we are meant to be, in order to truly be spiritual women, maybe we should consider to feed our spiritual body and to pay attention and to nourish this spiritual body with the same care and with the same attention and consideration uh, that we are taking care of our physical bodies. So, uh, unfortunately, the materialistic society that we live nowadays, uh, in which we are driven by competition in order to prove ourselves only on the material level, is resuming everything to things that we can uh, touch or things that we can uh, experience through the senses and uh, unconsciously we have this idea that if I don't feel it, if I, it doesn't exist. You know, funny enough, um, renovating a house recently, I read some books because uh, why not doing it by the book and uh, it was a motto in the beginning of my first book about uh, renovation which says what you don't see, it doesn't bother you. And I was so shocked by this because it is all of a sudden cancelling a huge part of our lives, the mysterious, the mystical, the sublime part of our life just because you can't see it. And uh, somehow I understood that this vision, if you don't see it, it doesn't bother you, we kind of translate it, unfortunately, because of this materialistic education in um, our everyday lives, imagining that if we can't see um, our thoughts or emotions, uh, we don't need to clean them up, we don't need to have them purified. If we don't know that uh, subtle bodies exist, why bother to take care of them? If we don't know truly how and in what uh, amazing and in what sublime way our entire being is functioning, then just let's stay with the basics and take care of, you know, what, um, what we can experience through the senses in this materialistic world. And um, I know that uh, it is an example used time and again, but it is very appropriate. It is as if we are uh, offered a temple of our spirit to experience our lives, but the only thing that we take care within this temple is only about uh, the walls and only about the objects that are inside, but we do not take care to um, pray inside the temple, to do the spiritual work inside the temple, to cultivate the wonderful attitudes inside the temple, to uh, bring the virtues, to clean the emotions and sentiments that we enter the temple and so on and so forth. So, what we are left with is just with the exterior material heart shell which contains nothing inside and uh, this would be exactly the opposite of a spiritual woman.